What's up guys, welcome to Smart Tips and Tricks. I'm Jameson Crast, and this week we have a cool series for you. We're gonna build a 1,000 yard gun for under $1,000 and we're gonna do it all with parts made right here in the USA. So stay tuned. All right guys, now's the fun part. We're in Texas, we're at the Outdoor Solutions range. We got the Ruger American with the loophole scope, all made in the USA, and now's where we actually get to send some rounds down range. So earlier we mounted the scope, we got everything leveled, and we got it bore sighted. So now, in theory, we have a target set at 100 yards. We should at least be on paper to then adjust and zero it at 100 yards. All right, perfect. That's uh, almost too good to be true. That is almost the exact height for elevation. Um, we're about two inches to the right. So I'm gonna run another one down range here um, just to verify and then we will adjust from there. Now without shooting super fast here, um, we don't wanna heat up the barrel too much, but the goal here is to find the three shot average. We will take them, take the three shots, triangulate it, find the center of that, and then that is what we're gonna be adjusting, okay? So uh, there's discrepancies in whether you're shooting, especially if you're a guy like me, hasn't been through long range training a lot. Um, you know, it comes down to trigger pull, comes down to your breathing, comes down to a lot of variables. At the same time, we're shooting a factory uh, barrel with factory ammunition, so there is gonna be discrepancies in your ammo. We're not expecting to shoot same hole accuracy here, especially with a factory gun and factory ammo. Nonetheless, we're gonna try to find a three shot average and get it zeroed at 100. All right, so we got a handful of rounds through this gun here. It seems to be shooting consistently, consistently right and high. So now it's a matter of adjusting here. So Now when you look at these targets that are one inch by one inch grids, the way this works is one inch on your target at 100 yards is four clicks, meaning one click right here on the dial for an MOA dial is a quarter of an inch at 100 yards. So keep that in mind. If I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, I am two inches right consistently, then do the math real quick, four times two, eight, that means eight clicks should bring me back to perfect left and right windage at uh, zero. Okay, so I wanna bring this left, so I'm gonna be bringing her one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, no need to put the cap back on because I'm gonna be running a couple more rounds here and verifying that. Bingo, there we go. So, handful of shots right there, and now the gun is verified zeroed at 100 yards. So the important thing is having a solid building block. The fact that we now know that this gun is zeroed at 100 yards is what we're gonna build the rest of our ballistics off of. So from here, the next step is we're gonna run a chronograph. A chronograph measures the velocity. So we're gonna run five shots through the chrono, shooting at 100 yards, not necessarily shooting at all for accuracy, more or less to find the average velocity. Okay, so from those five shots with the chronograph, we're gonna know the speed. Now this is not crucial for the majority of the shooting out to probably 400 yards, you can use the ballistic velocity, or the velocity right here on the box. So this is saying 2,700 feet per second at the muzzle. That's your velocity. Um, that's gonna be close. Like I said, shooting out to 200, 300, even to 400 yards, that's gonna get you real close. But the goal of this is a thousand yards for under a thousand dollars made in the USA. So for that reason, we're going to shoot through the chrono. We're going to take our five shot average. We're going to take that speed, enter it into our ballistic calculator app, along with the ballistic coefficient and the other variables that we have. And that is what's going to give us a correct dope for us to be able to dial in and shoot four, five and beyond. All right guys, so based off of those five shots, this is what we've got. Our maximum feet per second is 2,617. Our minimum is 2,574. And our average is 2,604. So when we enter this into our ballistics calculator, which we're gonna do next, we're entering 2,604 feet per second. So just to compare that to the box, which is saying 2,700 feet per second, we're looking at roughly 100 feet per second difference. Not gonna make a hell of a lot of difference at 100 yards, hell, even 200 yards. But when you get back out beyond that 500 yards plus, that 100 feet per second is gonna make a difference. 
All right, so the next step here is when we have this gun zeroed at 100 yards, is we wanna take this right here, this is your raised turret, and we want this, the little hash here, to be right directly on zero, okay? With a lot of newer scopes and a lot of higher end scopes, you can set what's called a zero stop. This scope does not have that, but to give you a quick example, what a zero stop is, is you can dial this, and right here, perfect. Do not go any lower than this because this is at 100 yards. We would loosen this turret, we would set some sort of mechanism, depending on the scope manufacturer, and you could not go lower than 100 yards. You could only increase and only raise the elevation, okay? So that way, when you, you're screwing it back and you want to come back to 100 yards really quick or whatever you zeroed it at, you can go shh, 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 twist this baby down, you're at 100 yards, okay? This scope does not have that, okay? That's one of the 399 price point options. Uh, that's one of the things that this scope does not come with, is the zero stop. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this. but. I say all that to say, we need to make sure that this right now, because this is set at uh, six and three quarters, okay? Six and three quarters means nothing to us. We need this to be zero. So we know that at zero, I'm zero to 100 yards. So they come with a little Allen key. There's gonna be a couple Allen set screws on each side here. Loosen these. So we've got the turret here. You can see this right here, we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, it goes all the way down, we start at zero. We're taking the zero, lining that up with the indicator right here. Boom. Now from that point, we're just gonna tighten these two set screws and that's gonna lock that baby in. All right, so we got those two set screws tightened. So for all intents and purposes, we are zeroed at 100 yards. We have everything set, we've got our indicator set here at zero. We don't have a zero stop on this scope, but from this point forward, now we can go have some real fun. We can go shoot three, four, five hundred yards, and we'll wrap it up at a thousand. So the next part for me here is getting a ballistic calculator set up. So that's what we're going to do next, and I'll show you how. All right. So from a ballistic calculator standpoint, there's all sorts. I mean, there's dozens and dozens of them. I don't have any preference. I don't have any. Um, I'm not partial to any of them. What I have used, what I've come to know, um, and, and what I'm going to be using for this is called Straylock. Um, there'll be a little link in the description if you want to download it. Um, but that's what we're gonna be using here. So, all right, with Straylock, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in and we're gonna set up this rifle, okay? So, we're going to change our rifle, we're gonna create a new one, and we're gonna call this one Ruger American 6.5. All right, so that's the that setup. Now, from a scope standpoint, our zero, is at 100 yards, okay? So that's the first one. Our height, scope height, 1.97 inches. We can leave that vertical click and MOA. Like I said, a quarter of an inch, that's our MOA. Now if it was mil dot, that's 10th. So every click is 1 10th. With um, MOA, it's 1 quarter. So we're leaving that at 0.25, leaving that down through here. Um, changing our reticle to LR duplex 4 to 12 loop hold, which is what we're running, all right? Uh, minimum magnification is 4, maximum is 12, max range 12. Okay, save. So now we have that rifle saved. Now we need to come down here and set our cartridge. So our cartridge is ELDX, and those are 143 grains. Okay, so now the ballistic, the bullet weight in grains, right on the box, 143 grains. Okay. Um, the ballistic coefficient. Ballistic coefficient, you see G1BC. So that's the G1 ballistic coefficient. It's 0.623. So when the ballistic coefficient, we're typing 0 0.623. Enter that. Um, the speed. So this is where the chronograph came in. Like I said, if you did not have a chrono, you did not have access to one, and you wanted to get close, you would enter 2700 because that's what it says here on the box. Since we shot our five-shot group, we know that our average is 2,604 feet per second. In this field right here, we're typing 2,604 feet per second. The temperature today is 50 degrees out. And let's see. Okay, we're saving that. Now, we can go a step further. The zeroing, which is what we're shooting today, we're going to enable zeroing. So we know from an altitude standpoint, we're at 1,750 feet. Enter that. The temperature is 50 degrees out, and the barometric pressure is 30. Okay, hit save. 
Now, we have all that information in there, okay? So that is set up for that rifle, with that scope, with that cartridge, and it's figuring out a zero of these exact conditions right here. Hit done. Okay, so now, knowing everything that we've entered, our first shot here is gonna be at a steel plate at 300 yards. So at the distance, we're typing in 300 yards. Um, slope angle, it's relatively flat here for all intents and purposes. Wind speed, we don't have much wind speed at all right now, and what we do have is coming right directly in our face. So we're leaving these as zero. We have our rifle is the Ruger American, our rifle is the Ruger American 6.5. We have the weather that we entered in, we know that's going on right now. Um, nope. For the weather, we're actually, this was set to the last time I was at, so the weather, we're at 1750. The temperature is 50. And the barometric pressure is 30. Save that. Now, this is the fun part. Just hit calculate. So that tells us right there that our vertical MOA, our elevation change is 4.45 MOA. Okay, because we're in a quarter, we're gonna dial this to 4.5 MOA. To break this down over here on the right side, it gives us an inch measurement, and that tells us this bullet is gonna be dropping 14 inches based off the conditions, based off of how we have the zeroed, it's gonna be a 14 inch drop at 300 yards. So, if you have a BDC radical and you wanna hold over, go for it accordingly, we are now gonna be able to dial. So we're gonna take it to three, four, four and a half. All right, so now if we've done everything right, we've got our scope, everything's leveled, we've got our scope zeroed, we have entered all of our numbers into the ballistic calculator, at this point it should be a matter of pointing at 300 yards and then a proper execution, good breathing and a good trigger pull, we should be ringing steel.